Oh god, text. I'll answer your questions, Vice Admiral, but only for as long as it suits me. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to do it. I have to do an accent for him. What were you doing here? Nothing less than reshaping the galaxy. My work is revolutionary. It is light years beyond the pale dreams of mere mortals like yourself. Following in the footsteps of the great Khan Noonien Singh, I have spent my life polishing the genome like the most precious jewel. Now I can combine the best traits from a... Now I can combine the best traits from, from a... Now I can combine the best traits from a variety of species to create a perfect being. My army of super augments will rule the galaxy. We will have eternal peace. Peace through strength. Peace through power. Oh, it is glorious. I only wish my Khan were here to see the result. I honor your legacy. I honor your legacy, my Khan. Okay. Genetic modification is illegal. I don't recognize the laws of your petty judgmental federation. You mouth pretty words about morality and diversity and peace, but you fly around in death machines that could obliterate a planet. You talk about personal freedoms, but impose your will on everyone in your grasp. The Federation is a collection of tyrants. You were just talking about peace through strength. Why were you working with the Klingons? You had to have known this wouldn't have ended well for you. It is the curse of every great mind. Research requires resources. Ambassador Bavat was happy to provide me with all the materials and research subjects I needed in exchange for an augment process to make Gorn warriors stronger and faster. He could have had so much more. I told Bavat that I could perfect the augmentation process and improve the Klingons, but he was loath to experiment on his own people. A pity. Good thing I had no such scruples. Did you augment Klingons? Not as many as I would have wished. They respond oddly to treatment. It's very interesting data. Unfortunately, most of my Klingon subjects broke out of the lab and escaped. They'll create quite the path of destruction on their fruitless quest for a cure. The results will be most illuminating. What is Bavat planning? I'm not privy to Bavat's private thoughts, Vice Admiral. I do know that he asked me to analyze a sample of blood from the most unusual being. Three-fourths human, one-quarter Klingon. It was the most interesting genetic profile I had seen in months. Whoever this Moral Paris is, I'd like to meet her. Oh, and Bavat kept asking me about time travel, how to do it, what the ramifications were. I'm a genius, but that's not my field. I told him he'd need to find something or someone who knew more. What else can you tell me? I'm bored with this, Vice Admiral. I'm done answering your questions. Alright, enjoy the brig. You will not stop the future, my time is come! Command has asked us to take a Marsing out of the system, sir. From there, he'll be transported to the nearest starbase for interrogation. Starfleet Intelligence has a lot of questions for him. We can return to the Waglinde whenever you are ready, sir. Let's get out of here. Hazard team, not the way team. Hazard. Hazardous missions. Hazard team. That's why it's called that. And why does diplomatic immunity keep... Do I even have diplomatic immunity on me? Apparently I do. I'm not sure why it keeps showing up. Who gave me diplomatic immunity? Because I don't think you can self-target and do it to yourself. In fact, I know you can't, so somebody else did that for me. I don't know who they were, or why they did it, or where they are now. Let's see. Alright, let's hail the Undine. I never expected you would find evidence of the Augment Research, Vice Admiral. Starfleet will keep a close eye on this situation. I'm sure you will, you imposter. Good luck, Vice Admiral. Yeah, whatever. Oh, that inventory's full, isn't it? Ooh, bubble juice. I imagine it tastes like bubble yum. Or bazooka joe. I, I'll bet it tastes like bazooka joe. Trinksy and bubble juice? I'll bet it tastes like bazooka joe. It, it must. It must taste like bazooka joe. 
But anyways, that was the ultimate Klingon, in which no ultimate Klingons were ever seen. <laughs> in which no ultimate Klingons were ever seen, nor fought, only briefly mentioned at the very end. It should have been called the ultimate Gorn, which is kind of cool. I got an accolade, didn't I? Let's go check that out. I just remembered that. Let's visit the bridge. It's been a while since it, it's been a while since we've had since we've had a post-mission bridge visit, hasn't it? It's always it's always just been from my ready room. Oh come on, it's my bridge. Load it. Load it now. Load it now. Do as I command. There we go. Well, what's everybody up to? Pran is still not doing anything right. So I got an accolade. Let's go check that out. Okay. Set up trophies. Shelf 2. Accolades. Let's see, ground gorn. So, wait, have they fixed the? Have they fixed ground Cardassian yet? No. There should be like a a Cardassian a symbol of the Cardassian Union behind that, but it's clipping through the wall. They haven't fixed that yet. Ground gorn. That's clipping through the wall too. I can tell. I can see. There's something behind that. There's something that's supposed to be there. Ah. Oh. Come on. It's clipping through the wall, man. Yeah, that's fine. That's boring. That's a head in a jar. I don't know. I think there's supposed to be something behind that, maybe? I don't know. Still back to the ground gem hadar. I'm getting tired of the ground gem hadar. I'm not getting tired of the ground Klingon, but I am getting tired of the ground gem hadar. There's supposed to be like a green Gorn, like a symbol of the Gorn behind that trophy, and it's not there. Just like there's supposed to be the symbol of the Cardassian Union behind that Cardassian energy rifle, and it's not there. So, come on. No, that's the only that's the only point of doing of grinding those kills is to get those trophies and they don't work. And it takes forever to grind those kills to get the trophies too. So, ah, oh, you know, just, uh. But anyways, that was the ultimate Klingon, like I said, in which no ultimate Klingons were seen or heard from. It was all augmented Gorn. It's kind of strange like that. But next time, we will be doing City on the Edge of Never. And uh, this one's going to be a bit different from the ones we've been doing before. Um, yeah, this one... The next one is going to be quite a bit different from the ones we've been doing before. Uh, and it's going to be different... It may be differently formatted, too, because there are two... The next two missions really are not two separate missions. They're, in fact, one mission. Um, they're literally like two halves of w the same mission, just in two separate missions. Uh, so the format may change uh, for that. I may do those both as one, uh, you know, as one installment of Rise of the Red Shirts rather than two separate installments, because you literally start one at the very end of the other and you continue on like it were one continuous mission. So that's probably what I'm going to do. And after those two, uh, there's only going to be one mission left in the Klingon arc. Uh, for now, I'm not. I'm, I'm saying for now because they may add new content somewhere down the road. There may be a featured episode dealing with the Klingon somewhere down the road. But for now, th we, there are only three more missions in the Klingon arc. I've been going through them really fast since I started taking since I started taking them two at once, and. Uh, the last mission is going to be one installment because it's going to be fairly long. Uh, it's going to be fairly lengthy, 
Not because it's a longish mission, but because there are parts of it. It really, it really is, like I said, I described it as a mission that really shows off what this game could be and what it can do, and it does so very much. And um, it's really just a really cool mission that I think I'm just going to want to take my time on. Uh, and after we do that, we're going to be doing the brain featured episodes. Which kind of fit in there? They do. They, they kind of fit in. So we're going to do the Breen featured episodes there. And uh, the, we're going to do... Blah, blah. We're going to do... Um, City on the Edge of Never and its, and its second half next time. Probably as one, as one big installment rather than two separate installments. Because, like I said, same mission. It's, it, it literally should just be one mission. And then we'll be doing, the week after that, I'll be doing uh, the Doomsday Device. And uh, then we'll do the Breen featured episodes, which I may do, I may do, I may do them more than one. What I mean by more, I, I, of course I'll be doing more than one, but I may do them like, I may try to get like the full series done. That's probably pushing it though. Probably not. I'll probably do those two at a time as well. Um, there is a. They are very wordy. Like Cold Comfort is. Oh, Cold Comfort's probably my le least favorite of them. Although it was hilarious the first time I was doing it because I was literally just doping people up. Because, but I'll, you'll see. You'll see that later. You'll see me fumbling with the puzzle later. Um, So yeah, so City on the Edge of Never next week, plus its follow-up is as one big installment. And maybe, maybe if I do, maybe I'll, I will do Doomsday Device because if if I'm going to be doing City on the Edge of Never and Past Imperfect as one episode, I may do, uh, I may do Doomsday Device along with that. Although I I certainly am going to be like taking be taking a day off to like render and relax. I'll have to I'll have to find. If I decide to do that, I'll have to find some time somewhere to do that. Um, but yeah, this has been the ultimate Klingon. Next time, it will be City on the Edge of Never and Past Imperfect as like one installment. That's what I'm probably gonna do. One installment. Uh, but that is that will be then, and this is now, and I will see you guys later. So later.